chains on bracelets and how to keep your charm safe, how to measure for bracelets and all the issues involved with snake bracelets, whether you're starting up a new collection or whether you're starting another bracelet. Um, so today we're going to go back to basics and have a look at the snake chain bracelet. Okay, so first things first, if you've already got a snake, um, snake style bracelet and you're looking to get another one but you don't know what size it is, unlike Pandora rings, there isn't a stamp inside the clasp or anything like that that shows you what size your bracelet is. But it's really, really simple to do. All you need to do is just lie your bracelet out completely flat on a flat surface, grab a ruler or a tape measure and just literally measure it from end to end. Now, as you can probably see there, my bracelet is measuring at 19 and a half centimeters. Now, the bracelets don't come in half measurements. They come in um, centimeters. So it starts at 17, then 18, 19, 20, etc. Um, my bracelet, though, is showing a bit bigger because over time, bracelets do stretch. Um, they stretch probably up to about two centimeters, I would say. Um, and as you can see, the, the um, links on my bracelet are actually further apart than they would be on a brand new bracelet. So you need to take that into account when you're measuring for a bracelet as well um, and when you're measuring one of your old bracelets. So that's one way of telling what bracelet size you need. But if you don't have a Pandora bracelet at all and you're starting completely from scratch, um, what you will need to do is to grab a tape measure if you've got one. Or if you don't have a tape measure, the alternative is you can grab some, some ribbon and what you need to do is to wrap the ribbon around your wrist. Just give me one second. Chris, can you just give me a hand there? Just hold that there, thank you. So just wrap it around your wrist like that. Okay, thank you. Hold it quite tight, but not too tight. So you can see there, I've got it looped over. So keep your finger or your nail where it is that you measured to. And then obviously what you need to do then is to take a ruler and measure the size that it is. Now, according to this, my wrist is 16 centimeters. But what you don't want to do, obviously you don't want a bracelet to fit you as snug as that ribbon was just. Generally, what they say is to add two to three centimeters on depending on how quickly you're going to fill your bracelet. Because as I, just remember, as I said, um, bracelets do over time stretch, but if you're going to be filling your bracelet fairly quickly, you will need to um, perhaps go for the three centimeters. And it's also down a little bit to personal preference. I personally like to wear my bracelets a little bit larger that hang further down my um, wrist, which is why obviously my measurement is a 19 centimeter. Okay, so now we know the size. Let's have a look at the bracelet itself. So this is the park exclusive um, snake bracelet. As you can see there, it's got the castle on the clasp. And then on the other side, oh gosh, let's turn it around. On the other side, when I can get it, it says Pandora. That is the park exclusive snake chain that originally came out that is still available in um, all of the parks at the moment. You'll see here, there are some screw parts next to the clasp. Then carry on down to the bracelet, there are some more screw parts. And then again, the same. And then again, the same. Now, I'll talk you through why that is. But before we go on to everything else, I'm going to introduce a safety chain into the issue. This is the, let me see if I can bring it up for you to see. Okay, so this is the park exclusive safety chain. The um, hallmarks on it are on the side here. And also on the other side there where it says Pandora. And then we should have the Disney park stamp somewhere here. There we go. Okay, this, um, as I say, is a park exclusive. Now, I cannot stress enough the importance of a safety chain. The purpose of a safety chain is so that if ever your clasp failed on your bracelet and it came undone, if you had no safety chain on it, your bracelet with all of your beautiful charms would just fall off your wrist and be lost probably forever. Um, so by having a safety chain, what that does is it fits 
on the end here. In fact, let's put it on and we'll show you how it works. Right, when you're putting on a safety chain, the end that goes on first is the end that's got this bit here that swizzles, if you can see. There's like a little arch and then if I slowly turn it, you can see that this bit actually does swizzle. So that part has to go on first. So get the end of it. So take the end of your bracelet, which doesn't have the clip on, the um, clasp, sorry. And then just like you would with any of your screw on charms, place the bracelet in and gently screw it on. You'll then obviously have to do it again on the clip stations, which we'll talk about in a few moments. So over that one, over the next one. And then when you get down to where your clasp is, screw that all the way <clears throat> onto there as well. Okay, now we're just gonna leave the other end just dangling there just for a moment whilst we deal with the other sides of things. So next, you've obviously got these clip stations. So if I was doing a full bracelet, I would thread on some charms here first, but we're not, we're just doing a starter view of it. So we're going to put a clip on here. So I haven't got Disney clips here. These are some of my favorite clips to use with um, a Disney bracelet. They are the firework clips. And one of the, my favorite things on our Disney trips is the fireworks on the evening. So I do like to use these on my Disney bracelets. So as you can see inside here, there's a little clip where um, it, it closes and all the hallmarks are actually inside there. You probably can't see them, but I promise you they are. Okay, so what we do, we take that clip, place it around the clip station, and then close it shut. What you'll need to do is sometimes if they're very new, they can be quite stiff, but as you can see, it's actually placed over that clip station there. It won't come off. So if I now squeeze that closed, you'll hear a click. There we go. So now we know that that's securely on there, okay? So that is the first clip. So we've got the first end of the safety chain and then the first clip on. Right, now what I will do is just to give you the general idea, I am going to just pop a charm on here. Um, this is just a park exclusive charm. It's the fairly new release of um, the Disney Mom. If you can see it there. Okay, so I'm just going to use that one. It, it seemed quite appropriate given um, that I am mouse obsessed mom. So let me just screw that on. I think that this one actually just slides on. Yeah, this one just slides on rather than screwing on. So if we just pop that there, so there you can see. So that charm now can't go any further past the clip. Okay, so next we come over to another clip station. So if I do exactly the same step as I did before, so there's the clip station, grab a clip and repeat the process that we did before. There we go. Okay, so as you can see there now, hopefully, there is um, two clips and a charm on there. So this charm now cannot go any further that way or any further that way. Now, when it's such an empty bracelet like this, it's not so important, but, um, Charms, even on an empty bracelet like this, if you don't have clips on, they can sometimes get stuck on the screw bits um, and it can be very tricky to remove them. If that ever does happen, my advice would be just to take it into a Pandora store and see if they can deal with it for you. But to avoid that happening, I personally would always put clips on my bracelet as soon as I start a new bracelet. The other thing is when you start adding more charms to the bracelet, obviously if you have all charms and no clips, the weight of your charms, they're all going to budge together because that's just what they do. They'll all hang in one section. And what that will do is put strain on one area of your bracelet, which can lead to kinks in the bracelet or even breakage in the worst case scenario. So what you would want to do is to put the clips on and then separate your charms out so that you've got some separated here, in the middle section, and then finally the last section. That is for safety. Okay, so that's your clips. So now we are going to look at finishing off putting the safety chain on. So we've done the first end, which is the end with the swizzle. We've now got the other end. So same as with the first end, we just pop it onto the end of the bracelet and screw it on. You won't want to screw the bracelet this time. You'll actually want to screw the safety chain itself, which is why it's important to put that swizzle end on first so that the chain doesn't obviously all wind up. Okay, and then obviously when you close your bracelet, the bracelet looks like that. So we've got it with the the safety chain, the clips, 
and then at the moment just one charm on there. Okay, and the reason why I stress so much the importance of this safety chain is if this clasp was to fail and come off, um, without this, the bracelet would just fall off your wrist. And you obviously don't want that to happen because you don't want to lose your charms. But in this scenario, if you imagine this bracelet being on my wrist, in fact, let's do that. Let's put it on my wrist. Let me just open the clasp up. Okay, so obviously you'll have to put your hand through here like this. Um, over the years, I've learned many ways to get on a bracelet, but the safety chain, I must say, as you can see, makes it a bit useful. I always kind of loop my finger through. There we go. Okay, so I've got it on. Okay, so this is the bracelet. That's how it looks on my, brace on my wrist. Okay, and now you imagine this bracelet clasp has come undone. If that safety chain wasn't there, that bracelet would have just flown off my list com wrist. Wrist? Not list. The bracelet would have come off my wrist completely. Um, and as you can see, it hasn't actually come off. So the, the hope is that whilst it's hanging there on my wrist like that, I would actually notice that the clasp has come undone before actually losing the bracelet. Okay. Now, in the General Pandora collection, um, the safety chains actually come in different sizes. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, but I think the smallest is perhaps five centimeters. As far as I'm aware, the, um, sorry, that's upside down, the Disney Pandora safety chains, um, well, certainly this one, the park exclusive, I have only ever come across it in a, um, a one size fits all. Maybe if somebody knows any different, you can perhaps correct me in the comments down below. But um, yeah, that, that's what I've heard. Um, so perhaps if you've got particularly slender wrists, this might not be the best option for you. I personally have never had a problem and unfortunately have had the situation where my clasp failed and the safety chain did save my bracelet. So that's the, o Here's the overview of the Pandora snake bracelets. Obviously it applies to all snake bracelets, not just the Pandora Disney one, um, and how to keep your charms and the bracelet safe. Um, I hope that there was some information in there that was of use to you. Um, if there's any more questions on anything, please just drop a, a note in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them. And if I don't know the answer, I will look into it for you. Um, if you've got any comments on any of that, then please again comment below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also the bell icon. So, sorry, Chew is jumping over down here. Um, just to make sure that you don't miss any notifications. Um, thanks for watching and remember, every day is a Disney day. Bye for now.